Hello, I'm Sean Rice, a.k.a. Uncle Fester, from the international tour of the Adams Family, and thank you for watching Living Out of Suitcases, where I give you travel tips for the actor or business person on the go, and give you a little glimpse into the life of a touring Broadway show. We've had a pretty hectic schedule these past two weeks, and we're just now heading over to the West Coast for the holidays, wouldn't you? But we did get some time to explore Wichita, Kansas on our golden day. Wichita, located in southeast-central Kansas on the Arkansas River, is the largest city in Kansas and 49th largest city in the United States. It is the cultural center for Kansas and is home to several art museums and performance groups, namely the Music Theater of Wichita, Wichita Grand Opera, and Wichita Symphony, which all perform at the Century 2 Convention Hall, where we had our show. Other well-known local performance venues include the beautiful Orpheum Theater, where Gypsy Rose Lee first bared it all, and Crown Uptown Theater. We stayed in the downtown area, which is very near to a lot of local attractions. There are plenty of fun restaurants and breweries around. I recommend hitting up Heroes over in Old Town. They are some of the nicest folks in Wichita and have a killer array of burgers and sandwiches featuring their star ingredient, sweet pepper bacon. Get it on anything and you won't go away disappointed. While you're over in Old Town, stop in at the Museum of World Treasures. They offer a number of interesting rotating exhibits where you can experience ancient Greece, Asia, see a shrunken head or two, and Adam's favorite, learn about crystals and dinosaurs, and even see pop culture items like Ray Bulger's Pitchfork from The Wizard of Oz. It's a fun way to spend the afternoon in Old Town, and who wouldn't want to be able to say they've touched a piece of the Berlin Wall? Need a spot of coffee or a place to relax midday? Head over to Mead's Corner, which offers an array of coffee and gelatos in a quiet, laid-back setting. Or pop on over to the Vagabond, which not only offers a coffee bar, but a full bar as well. While you're on that side of town, make sure to stroll on over to the parks along the Arkansas River. They are home to the Keeper of the Plains, a statue in tribute to the Plains Indians that lived in this area originally. Nightly, they light a giant fire around the statue that I've heard is a sight to see. Right next door is the Mid-America All-Indian Center that gives you a more in-depth look at what it was like to be a Plains Indian in the area, from ceremonial dress to living structures. The surrounding parks are also a place to stroll through if you have the time. Let your mind wander as you stroll around the trees and among the geese. You might even come along a tree stump person, just another manifestation of Wichita's artsy side. In fact, you'll notice statues and street art all around town. It's one of the many things that gives Wichita its charm. Sometimes packing for the road is very easy. Recently we spent the summer touring Asia, so I only brought light summery clothes with me. But what happens if you're going to be away for several different seasons? How do you fit all of your winter, summer, spring, fall clothes into one 50 pound suitcase? Not to mention your swimming suit, your workout clothes, your winter coat, your windbreaker, your hat, your scarf. You get the picture. The answer is simple. You can't. There is a way around it, but it requires you to do some planning before you leave home. Here's what I do. The U.S. Postal Service offers a wonderfully helpful tool, flat rate shipping boxes, which are free for you to pick up at your local post office, or you can log onto their website and have them shipped to you for free. Pick up two or three of these boxes at the post office before you start packing. Now what you're going to want to do is to pack all of the things for the season that you're going to be in in your suitcase. Then pack up the rest of the stuff into the flat rate boxes. Now the beauty of the flat rate box is that no matter what you put in there, how much it weighs, if you can close the lid and tape it shut, they will ship it for you. And the highest price you're going to pay for the largest box is about $16. And it's even less if you order that pickup to be online. Now you're gonna to wanna to leave these boxes with a trusted friend or family member. As you're traveling around the country, you're gonna feel the weather start to change and it's all of a sudden gonna be time for the next season's worth of clothes. Here's what you're gonna do. Go to the local post office of wherever you're at, pick up a couple more boxes. Notify your friend, have them ship the boxes that they've been holding for you to the next hotel that you're going to be at. Once you get the boxes, pack everything up in your current suitcases into the new flat rate boxes and ship that back to your friend so you can pick it up when you get back home. You can even schedule and prepay for those boxes to be shipped to you right from online and have them picked up from your friend's house so they don't even have to go to the post office. Voila! Problem solved! You all know that I'm a very big gamer. 
In fact, if you haven't checked out my bi-weekly vlog about gaming, gaming out of suitcases, then you definitely should. Well, gaming on the bus is a great way to pass the time on those long travel days. One of my favorite games to play on the bus is the pocket version of Days of Wonders hit board game Ticket to Ride. In Ticket to Ride, you play a railroad tycoon who is trying to collect points by connecting specific cities with their railway. To do this, you will collect colored train cards, which you will then use to purchase small portions of the track. The longer the portion of the track that you purchase, the more points you get. The farther away the cities are, the more points you get. And at the end of the game, the person who has the longest continuous track gets an extra bonus. The strategy of the game comes from trying to build your track before one of your competitors blocks you with their own railroad. It's a lot of fun, and they've got all the expansions available that they do for the board game, which include um, Europe and 1910, so you can look at what the railroads looked like in the past. They're all available for download, and you can get them on your phone, you can get them on your iPad, iPad, you can get them on your computer, you can play them by yourself against computer uh, players, you can um, connect to a local broadband uh, or, or Bluetooth network and play with people on the bus, or you can just connect to the internet and then play with complete strangers who are also on the app. It's actually a very charming game and very competitive. I highly recommend it. Recently, one of the Adams' ancestors went back into the crypt for good. Old Ruby Adams, you'll be missed. But in the space she left behind, a new ancestor has arisen, played by Maggie Pitts. And I'd like you to get to know her a little bit. So here we are with Maggie. Now, Maggie, how did you come to have this job? Um, I auditioned for Adams' family in April 2012. And, uh, That's a long time ago. It was a very was long it an time excruciatingly ago. long wait? It was very long wait. That's yes. wonderful. Yes. Yeah. So, what was the audition process like? Um, I went in for the dance call, and got kept through a couple of dance calls, and then had to sing any kind of uh, sixteen bar cut, and then was asked to come back the next day for uh, a Wednesday cover. Um, and so I had to learn a couple of Wednesday songs. Next day, I went through a couple more dance cuts, a couple of Wednesday cuts, and then it was down to about three, three of us for the cover. And then I didn't get the job the first time, unfortunately. But now here I am. Here you finish. are. Now, what was it like coming into a show that was already set up? Because you came in after we'd been out on the road for almost, oh gosh, ten months. Yes. Yes. Were you um, nervous? I was very nervous, yes. Very nervous, but uh, the cast has been very welcoming, and I feel like I'm part of the family. That's wonderful. So what was the process of getting you into the show once you were here? Um, I got a phone call. I was in New York uh, Monday night, and they said, can you be in Delaware tomorrow, which was Tuesday. I came, I saw the show, and then Wednesday started uh, rehearsing with a DVD and Chloe, the wonderful dance captain, and then I was in the show on Saturday matinee. That's wonderful. So you were with us for Halloween. I was. Our favorite <laughs> holiday. So Maggie, how do you feel you fit in as an ancestor? Well, what do you think? Well, that's about all for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you like what you saw here today, please like, comment, share with your friends, and subscribe to my channel so you can get instant access to all of my new content. And also, if you know of some fun places that I should visit in the cities that we're about to go to, please let me know down in the comments. Till next time! Happy Thanksgiving!